Hi everybody, Luna Michaels, Esoteric Astrologer. Um, I'm making a video today about meaning. And um, I'm making this during the coronavirus quarantine. It's April 2020. And um, I want to talk about the planet Jupiter and how this can help you find meaning in your life and keep you supported during unknown times or anxious times. Um, I recently got a certification from the Institute of Logotherapy. And that Logotherapy was started by a man named Viktor Frankl, who is an Austrian Jew, and he was a psychotherapist before he went into concentration camps um, and survived. And he was working with people who were suicidal before the war, before World War II, and finding that um, that every person who he kept from suicide or brought them back from the brink of suicide always felt like they were so grateful they were alive. And he created um, a system of humans being motivated by meaning and that there's a will to meaning. Uh, he has a wonderful book called um, like a, a Man's Search for Meaning, <laughs> Victor Frankl. And it's um, F-R-A-N-K-L. And Victor is with a K instead of a C. So I was thinking about not at all like what we're going through is being in a concentration camp was billions of times worse. But people are so frightened right now about feeling, you know, what can they do? They're getting swallowed up by fear. And one of the things that Viktor Frankl is kind of the modern person of gratitude, and he got through the camps through gratitude and through um, this what Jupiter represents in astrology is following your sense of gratitude and being able to help others. And Jupiter is very giving, and it's also a philosophy of feeling that life makes sense, you know? So now, of course, they do so much study about how gratitude can change your brain uh, waves and change your, um, your, immune, your immune system because of a new science called psychoneuroimmunology. So they're seeing all these things now. But... Um, so I was kind of putting some thought to that. So let me talk about Jupiter and how different people's Jupiter signs, you could look to that and see whether you're watching this during the quarantine or any other time where there's challenges in your life or not challenges, you want to support other people through challenges. Um, so if you want to know your Jupiter sign, oh, I was going to write down what Jupiter looks like. Um, Jupiter looks like this. If you make even a free astrology chart for yourself, Jupiter looks like kind of like a four. And you can look and just do your chart and see where your Jupiter sign is. If you do know your chart, your birth time, and because um, even if you don't know your birth time, you can find out your, your Jupiter sign because Jupiter stays in a sign for a year. But um, if you know your birth time, that would also put Jupiter in a house. And um, that would add a dimension to it. Like say you have Jupiter in Gemini, but it's in the ninth house of the chart. The ninth house is like Sagittarius. It gives you another little flavor of your Jupiter, which you can either figure out if you know a little astrology, ask an astrologer when you get your chart done, and or get that information and be able to use this information differently. So let me start with just going Jupiter through the signs. And I do have some notes here because I want to be able to swing through this. Okay, so Jupiter and Aries. So if you have Jupiter and Aries, this is where you could find meaning for yourself, which invigorates your spirit invigorates your immune system, invigorates your sense of hope. Um, Aries itself is very courageous. Um, you can really be helpful to help others follow their own values no matter what, because Jupiter is about value system and to inspire others with that sense of like, follow your values, follow your dreams, you know? You can reignite other people's vitality and their sense of future vision because Aries is that sense of lighting that fire. And you can also lend, other this, lend others the strength of your heart, you know, and, um, and really bring that sense of inspiration. And to yourself, too. And one of the other things is that Aries is a very physically active sign. So even um, moving around, uh, going for a walk, dancing, just moving, <sighs> doing like an invigorating yoga workout, something like that, can re-trigger you into a positive frame of mind if you have Jupiter and Aries. Um, Jupiter and Taurus. Um, there's a real sense with Taurus of a sense of being present in your own body. So the sense of a healing touch that just even, you know, if you have Jupiter and Taurus, maybe just touching someone's back or touching, holding their hand. Um, 
can be very soothing to someone's energy field, you know, and reconnect them, reconnect another person with their own values. Like I'm saying, financial generosity is a great thing with Jupiter and Taurus. Um, having a calm presence. And also just as I'm going through these, just really seeing this in yourself when you feel like, oh, I don't have a lot to give. Just by you, if you're a Jupiter and Taurus person, just being centered. If there's a crisis and you're just centering yourself, that being that centered presence could help other people suddenly access their higher intuition or something like that. Or if you're meditating in your house during a, a crazy time like this coronavirus stuff, you can bring soothe. It's almost like a wom 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 that comes off of you, you know, and um, you do have that to offer and you feel you don't have a lot to offer. Even soothing silence is part of Jupiter and Taurus. Um, you're not rocked off your center. Again, so you can help people in the crisis. Um, just being, just the sense of simplicity and ritual can be very soothing to you and others when you have Jupiter and Taurus and get you recentered. Um, I said breathing and not necessarily even deep breathing. Just being centered with your breath however it is. That can bring, again, a soothingness around you as well as yourself. Um, <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, Jupiter in Gemini. This is, you know, Gemini is a lot about speaking and, and affirming. So affirming words, um, saying affirmations to other people, just saying what, just uplifting concepts and expressing those to people is really helpful when you have Jupiter and Gemini. Jupiter and Gemini people also tend to just know a lot about stuff, you know, and being able to say the right thing at the right time because you have this vast knowledge or metaphors to kind of pull from to say the right thing that would reframe something for somebody else. Gem Jupiter and Gemini people are great reframers. And um, let's see, um, balanced brain hemispheres. So something, you know, with um, even alternate nostril breathing, you know, in yoga can create a balance of the hemispheres and staying balanced like that. Um, and that can be a sense that <clears throat> gives you poise and be able to, again, access your intuition. I'm talking about intuition because Jupiter also represents that. Um, healing power of words. Um, it can be very helpful for people that tend toward anxiety or even yourself to say, nope, I'm going to change my language. I'm going to use a word that's not so anxiety producing to help that person and help my, you know, your own self. Um, and just supportive communication, just being someone who can communicate well and being a listening ear and a great sounding board for others is a real gift that Jupiter and Gemini has for people. So Jupiter and Cancer is very nurturing. Um, it's like helping others nurture their own inner child as well as nurturing your own and being a soothing, soothing presence. Um, Self-compassion and having compassion for others. Um, being a constant friend or somebody in the family circle, people probably have a history with you and they trust you. So just, again, the sense you've been in their life for so long and you're just there or you're just listening on the phone, that history that someone has with you can bring a sense of peace to others. Um, creating safe energy at home or in the workplace. Again, there's just a kind of a, a grounded safe space that they create, Jupiter and Cancer, kind of like Jupiter and Taurus. Um, and... Um, healing foods, like just even cooking with love and just bringing the simplest dish to somebody or bringing the meal to someone in your home um, can be a lot of energy within that um, gesture, you know. Also, I wrote not judging immature responses to stress and allowing people to cry or wail or have their moment you know, and saying this is how grief gets released or stress gets released and being able to not judge that and then be able to comfort that person and then have them being able to move into their, let's say, inner adult, you know, like not judging that inner child um, process. And that's a wonderful gift Jupiter and Gemini brings. So Jupiter and Leo. Okay, so I think here this is the acknowledgement of the specialness of each person's unique gifts, of seeing that every person has something wonderful to share with the world, that the way they just are is never going to be repeated again. And being aware of that in others and, and shining a light on that for others is a really helpful gift of Jupiter and Leo. Um, so letting each person shine in their own way, um, even helping children and shy people build confidence within themselves, um, being close with animals and pets, uh, there's a warmth. A lot of people, Jupiter and Leo, like animals just love them or kids love them too. 
smiling at strangers. It's, Leos have, and especially at Jupiter and Leo, is just a wonderful light within the smile. And that can be just a simple thing again, but powerfully energizingly awakening for others receiving that smile. Um, dancing, performing, music, um, even that's by yourself, you know, if you're in your quarantine, <laughs> you know, it just lets out again that resonance of joy from you. And that really helps others. Okay, Jupiter in Virgo. So again, we're back to kind of this healing hands or healing energy um, and being able to see that an energy flow is very uh, vital forces coming through the body, going into another's or even sending that at a distance. You don't have to be trained in Reiki, just um, which is very valuable as well, but you could even just Jupiter and Virgo be able to send that through your thoughts, through prayers and such like that. Um, looking at small but overlooked gifts in other people, that you see carefully things that other people might not recognize as strengths in them and help people feel really lifted up by that. Um, um, planting, uh, blessing the earth and being respectful of the earth, uh, having a beautiful garden that people see and brings them joy, it's also Jupiter and, and Virgo. Um, knowledge of, of herbs and food wisdom, kind of like that idea of Taurus and uh, Cancer, that same idea. Um, making gifts or crafts or like these little sweet touches. You know, Jupiter and Virgo is that person that doesn't forget the birthday and, you know, makes the cute little cupcakes and, um, you know, the sweet little something else that goes in the package. It's just little tiny touches that make people feel remembered. And, um, and again, just saying just the right thing to someone, kind of like Jupiter and Gemini. So people might be astounded at what you say that it's like, wow, that really healed me. That really helped me. And, and also with all of these Jupiter signs, using that for your own self-healing and treating yourself as you would the other person, all these things I'm saying. Jupiter and Libra, helping people see the other side of the problem. You know, Libra's the scale. So it's like, it's all over here, but it's like, what about over here? Or what about when you're on the other side of the problem, you know, and kind of coming from um, this future strength you're going to have having been on the other side of the problem, reminding people of that. Um, and that the uh, helping the other side, being on that other side of the problem and seeing there's other other sides to what they're just in can really help, help people uh, tap into a solution. Um, helping people see another person's point of view so it can heal a rift between people. That's another strong point of Jupiter and Libra. Um, art. Uh, or even if you can't make art, supporting other artists, that tends to be why people feel they can contribute and they have meaning in their life from art. Uh, there's a bumper sticker that says, Earth without art is eh. You can take A-R-T out of Earth, E-H, eh. You know, Libra people, Jupiter and Libra, really can support artists who bring that sense of art. Even dressing beautiful fashion and people just saying, oh, they, you know, beautiful colors or this kind of thing in brighten people's day. And these are small things, but they're things that can really be a turning point when you're not feeling great, right? Um, having a beautiful home is a wonderful way with Jupiter and Libra, having people feel comfortable in the beauty and the harmony sense in their own home, even if you're a meditator and that kind of energy is in the home, make people feel harmonious. And just the power of love and understanding. And just, you know, Jupiter and Libra really is the healing power of love and believing in that. And, um, okay, Jupiter in Scorpio. This is really, Jupiter and Scorpio can really help people who are in some sort of massive transition dealing with grief, loss, death, uh, helping them move forward. Um, you know, Jupiter and Libra is kind of that idea of the other side, but, but Scorpio is like almost like somebody who can escort you through this difficult time, like, like the dark night of the soul and someone's there with you, walking you through it. And again, Jupiter and Scorpio kind of like Jupiter and uh, Cancer that I mentioned, does not have shame or uh, di disgust at someone going through the throes of grief or pain or loss, even if you lost your job or something that seems like an insignificant loss to somebody else, Jupiter and Scorpio can say, that's a loss, that's a transition, that's a portal to deeper consciousness, you know, and I'm recognizing you going through that, even if you lost your wallet or something crazy, but, um, you know, that Jupiter and Scorpio can value that for others. And they have um, usually financial investments or financial support can help um, a lot of people. You could invest in things that are meaningful in you or even um, uh, charities or something that are meaningful that can help that way. Um, 
past lives, even people can see past lives sometimes, Jupiter and Scorpio, to see reasons for what's going on, to help soothing concepts. Um, and helping people feel they are a part of the whole, even if they feel like they're just a cog in a wheel. There's a power within the whole process that they're important, even if they're just doing this, you know, it doesn't seem to be much. You can really help people feel that they matter. And that was something I didn't say before about Viktor Frankl. He said that life has meaning under any circumstance. And this is where, again, this idea of Jupiter, how do you find your meaning under any circumstance and help others shine light on their own meaning? Um, so Jupiter in Sagittarius. We've got that healing power of humor. And that is such a powerful healing force. Laughter yoga is a really cool thing that you could look into. Anybody could. It's really fun. And um, can really transmute a lot of stress hormones and stuff. Um, Jupiter and Sagittarius, very optimistic, putting a positive spin on things. Like gratitude is definitely Jupiter and Sagittarius are connected. So it ups that gratitude factor and the positive factor. Um, being able to really connect with nature is a wonderful gift that Jupiter and Sagittarius have. Um, even being able to help people feel comfortable out in nature and, and a healing force of the earth, you know, people that might be nervous about camping or hiking or something. And, and your own energy can get very uh, soothed by being in nature, even for a short time, even if it's sitting under a tree in your yard. Um, traveling and tolerance of other people's religions and ethics and languages and cultures and you know really bring a sense of um, uh, we're all in it together you know or subcultures within your own culture and just being able to honor that these are interesting ways of learning and being and expressing your life and your soul Jupiter and Sagittarius is really good for bringing uh, shedding light on those sort of things and then just being adaptability being able to help spontaneously and just say hey, no big deal like we'll do this and and that just really takes a burden off people um, Jupiter in Capricorn and be, excuse me, I'm going to take some water here. Belief in divine order. Um, and I wrote, there's a method in the madness that Jupiter and Capricorn can be like, we may not know the reason why, but there's a reason. There's an order to this. We're going to see it on the other side of this um, and help people be patient to wait out the circumstances to see the greater purpose. Um, Financial clarity, and again, helping support people with finances or investing in these companies that would be important to future growth of the planet and humanity. Um, helping people see the perfect next step, even if that's a small step, you know, um, that it's just, this is the right thing to do. And it doesn't have to look grand, grand. It can be the small thing, you know, and a small, um, there's an interesting uh, theory about um, neuroscience called the thought ladder. So instead of being able to be like, you know, I, you know, if you're very depressed or something, you can't go, oh, I'm a happy, happy person. But you could say, I believe I could be less depressed. You know, that one step is that Jupiter and Capricorn is like, just get there. Don't go all the way up. You don't have to go all the way up. You can go right here. You know, or you can do the small thing, you know. Um, and that, again, these small things matter. And small things build up and become bigger things. Is that saying about uh, the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. That's very Jupiter and Capricorn. And having, being very steady and being true to your principles and that people know that you're true to your principles and you feel, again, comforting to others. Uh, Jupiter and Aquarius really help to invigorate community, really help with social justice, um, optimism of the future. Jupiter and uh, Aquarius bring that to a lot of people. Sharing information, connecting people together so that everybody gets their... Um, goals met and, and can move forward together in a unit better than just alone. Um, being able to see ways people interconnect that even those people might not see they interconnect. And it's like, wow, like this really helped us do something with, for the bigger picture we wouldn't have thought of without you connecting us. Um, world harmony, um, having friends of all ages, races, shapes, sizes, and inspiring others for loving all of humanity is part of Jupiter and Sag. Um, seeing the value in everybody's experience of life, that everybody has value from their perspective and, and helping people, again, who might not even think their, their voice is valuable, their life experiences are valuable. You can almost inject them with their own, like, oh, wow, I am valuable. 
Um, coming up with ingenious solutions, being very synergistic with all sorts of life experiences. I mentioned that a little bit with Jupiter and Gemini. Um, seeing all religions and spiritual paths is awesome and kind of being able to, again, honor everybody and where they're coming from with those kind of ideas. Jupiter in Pisces. Um, I wrote music healing, sound healing, movement healing, um, even... Um, what do you call that? Like organic movement, like just breathing and intuitive movement. Um, that can be very healing and just a way to get yourself recentered when you have Jupiter in Pisces because you can get very affected by other people's concerns when you have Jupiter in Pisces. Holding the light and holding a space for healing for someone else, not having to do something, but just holding that space, like a breath between the anxious thoughts to create a healing for somebody. Um, believing in somebody's potential and seeing that potential and inspiring them to achieve their dreams and almost, you know, showing them that path and say, you go, <laughs> go on that path or your dream can be realized. And they're like, wow, I didn't even see that for myself. Um, just having kindness, so simple, the Jupiter and Pisces is so kind and sweet and having non-judgment, the power of prayer, um, Jupiter and Pisces are really powerful prayer people, again, maybe because they can create that space and have that vision that it's already healed. You're already in your healed self. You're already in that future where you're so happy. Um, even art that inspires others can be a great gift to humanity from Jupiter and Pisces. Um, so those are those Jupiter ideas. And if you are watching this during the coronavirus or any other time in your life when you're looking for meaning, remember there, there is meaning. You can tap into it through your Jupiter sign. Um, you know, meditate on that sign that your Jupiter's in and see how you could take some sort of action or a thought that re-inspires you and creates a, because Jupiter always has to do with um, your personal inspiration inspiring others to their own personal inspiration. And um, there's always a group effect to Jupiter. So if you want a session with me, as always, lunamichaels.com or 248-583-1663. You can even get my book on Amazon Kindle, um, The Spiritual Gifts of 12 Astrological Signs. And looking at your Jupiter with that, you could use that too. Might give you some more ideas. And bye-bye uh, for now.